Here I gonna show you how to set up and connect Logitech M590 silent wireless mouse that we can connect with iOS, Windows and Mac system using Bluetooth. Here my iPad installed iPados 13 and Apple some custom settings for mouse buttons. First of all, enable or turn on power on Bluetooth mouse from the given on, off switch at the back of the mouse. On my Logitech mouse there is another one button at the top, using this button we can switch between two devices quickly by a tap on a button. Keep selected first Bluetooth device and go to iPad settings app. Now scroll to accessibility option and next to accessibility option tap on it. Next to tap on touch and move to first assistive touch settings. Scroll to find different point in device settings like connect new Bluetooth mouse, change cursor size and color. Buttons settings and more. To join new Bluetooth devices like mouse or keyboard go to pointing device option. After that tap on Bluetooth device. At that time keep your mouse near and turning on. If it's already paired with other devices then first reset using long press on the top button. Now here's on my iPad tap on mouse name to pair with after confirm on pair pop-up option will show on iPad screen. At the same time mouse cursor show on iPad screen, use your mouse to select any option on iPad screen and place on touch on the screen. Also, you can make some customization like here I am showing here. Back to main options and first is point add new button and action for that, here on my mouse total fiver button are on it. Let's check how to assign. Go to pointing device and next tap on connected Bluetooth mouse, after that here's the three buttons that assign for single tap, home, and menu. To add another tap on customize additional buttons and press a button on pointing device for that you assign new action like screenshot or lock screen. Here I am selecting app switcher so I can see all the windows on iPad using button 4. After that again tap on customize additional buttons option and tap on fifth button on the mouse. Assign another action here I am selecting dock so I can quickly open another app just like Mac or PC. Also, we can change or update already assign buttons to a different action by a tap on button name and change it that's it. Some users are not using all buttons on mouse so they can delete in edit mode. Tap on edit at the top right corner of the screen and tap on minus red sign to remove or delete assigned button action. Now the next customization settings will change mouse cursor size or change cursor point or color from iPad settings while it's paired. First settings is mouse keys, enable if you wish or another settings are initial delay, maximum speed. Initial delay customize click response and the maximum speed is control cursor movement on iPad screen, to move a fast cursor on iPad screen set it to right on a slider. Next is changing mouse pointing device cursor size. That you can do from cursor option. First is cursor size, move the settings on a slider and get the bigger cursor on iPad screen to easily view and use. I recommend to use it on normal size so it will not appear on screen compared to other settings and distract on the iPad screen. Now the next cursor settings change the color of cursor border from white to gray and dark red green blue yellow orange or many colors options. Now move back and just below the cursor settings find other settings like auto hide cursor, enable it first and set time in seconds this interval automatically hide after inactive on screen. Next setting is show on screen keyboard, means you can use Apple iPad keyboard for search something on keyboard search pane, spotlight search or type message and more. 
Keep enable it for all users. The show always on menu means assistive touch or physical home button on iPad screen. That we can hide from turning off this setting. Now that's it. Follow my channel for more tips and troubleshooting tips. Also like and share this video to support us and encourage us only.